we go. <laughs> Hello. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> when when the company is this small, the culture is is where it gets set. Like this is where this is the ground zero point of where you can set the culture. And you know the I can tell you the culture amongst the the core founding team has has always been holy shit we we are building something fucking big and and if we build this thing it cha it changes the world in a massive massive way as a young project um, who hasn't received any funding yet doesn't have a token hasn't built a community you know once we start putting this white paper out there and being very public about what we're doing and what we're capable of those those companies like Fireblocks and the other ones that Andrew mentioned are going to be looking at what we're doing and they're going to be trying to solve some of the same problems that we're solving because um, they're going to see the potential of, of what can be done and they're going to see opportunities for themselves too. And so putting everything into to this project becoming very big very quickly and building amazing community and evangelizing people and getting the right team and understanding the crypto space well enough to be able to accomplish those things is going to be paramount for a young project like us if you haven't heard already uh the white paper has been finalized we've started dropping it already in the communities and, and handing it out to uh to friendlies and other insiders so the the game has begun have you ever wondered how these crypto uh, projects, these unicorns, just seem to appear out of nowhere. I'm gonna give you a kind of inside look into how uh, these things are created. The first is timing a wave. Dollars and more on this and the targeted. David, that's right, last week, 320 billion. Safely storing those keys and then being able to retrieve them. Um, so for the first time, the online world is a safe place to store that sensitive information. The second is uh, a phenomenal team. Passover so for an introduction is Claire Kelly. Charlie, uh, I believe, is going to be helping us out in the community. Got Lucas. Um, and so we, we met, we had the, the pleasure of meeting Lucas. Conrad and Roel have, have come uh, to, to help us out with the million. So I'm going to pass it on over to Max so he can uh, give a little intro, talk about what he's going to be doing here. We've got Nick. So we've also got another new face uh, with Roisin uh, named Mike Jed. We've also got Alan. Memo is starting, so Nico has joined us. The third is the idea. You know, what do I think Nilia can be? You know, it's all these things at the top, you know, science research, DAO tools, machine learning. Like, this is all really, really, really cool stuff. You know, it's exciting and we're going to do our best. You know, worst, Miguel's pioneered a new way to cryptographically store data. These primitives are very interesting. This might be a whole new area of research. You know, if we become some su somewhat successful, I think we have a very good shot at being like a glue layer that can connect connect lots of bits and pieces of like the the DeFi world and put it all together in like an, a pretty amazing package. At best, if we deliver on our vision, we get this compiler out there, we um, you know we scale the system out. You know, we could be building an entirely new paradigm for cloud computing, which to me is really really exciting. The actual wave itself is inside an ecosystem. So at Nillion, we want to create products that were previously not possible, that unlock real value for the world in a way that we've not yet seen before. You can think about it as multiple parties or companies or applications sharing data and then running queries or analytics or machine learning or any kind of processing you can think of on that information without either party ever actually seeing the underlying data itself. During the early days, we set out to gather letters of intent from potential partners that were interested in building on Nillion. And, you know, we thought we'd get a bit of proof of traction, but it turned out to be so much more. Within a month, we had signed 30 letters of intent from established companies across both Web2 and Web3. Our goal is to build a thriving ecosystem of products that people actually use products that solve real problems for users in a meaningful way. And to do that, we have to inspire the world's best developers to help bring this technology to life. So Nillion started from nothing and has now become, you know, thousands of people who are interested in the decentralization of other things, not just finance, of data, of processing, of storage, of secure storage. 
I mean, you know, we're talking the people who are uh, true revolutionaries and true forward thinkers being part of the community. That's what we want, is people who are passionate, who are interested, who are intelligent, who are engaged, and who want to build not just the token, but the protocol, uh, the community itself, and, and eventually a network that changes the world.